Most likely, if you're working on an article or a magazine style layout, you're using something like Microsoft Word or Adobe InDesign for that. Something with built-in tools for working with text and wrapping text around objects and so forth. But if you're working in Photoshop, you can achieve the same effect with just a little bit of work. So I've got a document here that has a couple items that need text wrapped around them. The type tool is great, but we can only use it to either make a text box or to just start typing freeform on a line. So instead of starting with the type tool, we're actually going to get rolling with the shape or the pen tool, depending on what you prefer. So with the shape tool, I've just defined a box which is actually the column where my text will ultimately lie. Now with the shape tool, I'm going to create another shape that's basically just a box around my quote. You may need to lower the opacity of these shapes to actually be able to see what you're doing. This is basically what I want to subtract from my original text column which will give us the wrap effect that we're looking for. Now just select both layers, merge them together by pressing Command or Control E, then select the cutout shape and change the shape mode for just that shape to subtract. You'll see that it cuts out away from the column. If the spacing looks good, select both paths again, and then go up and select Merge Shape Components, and this will create one solid cohesive shape, which is what we're looking for. Now grab your type tool, hover inside the merged shape, and you'll see that the type tool changes to a T inside of circle, meaning type inside a path. Simply click inside and you're good to start typing or pasting in your content for the text column. You'll notice that a new type layer has been created that has a path associated with it. The nice thing is that while your new type layer is selected, you can actually modify the anchor points to adjust things later on. Say you decide to move the quote down a bit. Just click on your text layer after you've moved your quote and use the direct selection tool to move the anchor points accordingly. And here I'm just going to apply the same effect to the second item, this time using a circle to cut out around the baseball. Here we have the final effect, and one note that I'll mention is that I'm using the Justify Left paragraph setting, which gives us that nice column look. It can also cause some minor bugs with certain lines that only have one or two words on them. So if you're having that problem, you can actually just go up higher in the paragraph and adjust a few lines to give you more words on your target line, or you can actually just change some of the other font properties like kerning and some of the other spacing options. And there you have it. I hope this video was helpful to you, and if so, please hit the like button, check out some of my other videos, and please consider subscribing as well.